So I just want to start off with saying I am not an electrician. I am not giving you advice on how to do anything electrically. Anything you do, you do at your own risk. But this is how I went about doing it. So this video is about my grid tie inverter that I have hooked up to my solar panels in my trailer so that it can be generating electricity while my trailer is just sitting there so that the extra solar power does not go to waste. So it is September 25th. It's about 6 p.m. So it's really not generating anything as the sun goes down. It's trying to kick on, but it doesn't have enough power in order for it to kick on. So the way that these work is you hook up your solar panels on this end of the inverter over here. You can see the 120 cord and you plug that into a standard outlet. So it has to detect electricity from the outlet in order to invert the electricity from the solar panels and start generating electricity, push it back into your house. These are not UL listed. The main reason is because you can potentially cause a fire with them. So if you think about it, the breaker is at the other end. And if it's a, let's say a 15 amp breaker, and this is pushing power into that circuit, and you're also drawing it from the other end, you can potentially start a fire in your wiring. What I did is I installed A, an outlet this is a dedicated outlet this is the only thing on this breaker so as you can see it trying to kick on it there it goes to two watts but then goes back off so these come from the solar panels And then this goes back into the house. It's just regular outlet. This kind of keeps track of the power that I'm generating. So this has not been on the entire month just because I went camping. And so it was not hooked up for just over a week. So which one is it? It's this one. So this shows you the power that it's generated and I believe I reset it on the 10th and so it's the 25th now 15 days and it wasn't hooked up for eight days so about seven days it's been hooked up and just shy of seven kilowatts put back into the house I mean <laughs> it's really not a lot but it's better than just throwing it out. So there's the watts. Obviously it's not putting any amps back in. So what I did is I ended up putting it in this box. I kind of made this box. It's got plexiglass on this side of it. This is plexiglass and then it's just a wood box and then cut a hole this is the top of my pantry. So there's a hole there, there's just a computer fan there that's wired into the solar, so the solar panels are running that fan. Because one of the things about these grid tie inverters, they like to run hot. And when they run hot, they don't generate, they're not as efficient. And on top of that, the fans are really loud. So what that does, the computer fan keeps it cool and the fans built into it and never even kick on. So it keeps it quieter, but also at the same time, that fan keeps my pantry cool because this is the south side of the house. This wall is the south wall 
and it tends to get a little warm in the pantry and don't like my food getting all warm has made some of my food taste a little weird. This is probably not the healthiest thing in the world. So I stuck that at the top and with that fan, it vents out the pantry and keeps it nice and cool. I just put a little dryer vent at the top. Not really noticeable, so you stand back and you can kind of see it, but you can see that it's moving air because the, the fence fins are open. But as that inverter tries to kick on and off, you can see it pulling power. So the fan goes down and then it goes back up. So that's about how much sun we're getting on top of the trailer. So it's not a whole lot right now. I think it's trying to focus on the window or something. But the sun's going down, so that's why it's not generating so much electricity. So yeah, I did, and I also added another breaker into it in here. There's several breakers in line on the trailer. Probably overdid it with the breakers, but there's different places where I want it to connect and disconnect. Right now, the plug on the trailer, if you see in my other video, the plug on the trailer is an output. And while I'm camping and I have my portable solar panels hooked up, it's an input. But yeah, that's, uh, that's how I did it. That's the grid tie inverter. I'll include a link below. Also, those uh, breakers you can also find uh, on Amazon. Same with the uh, six gauge cable. You can get that on Amazon as well. I'll include those links below. And uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Why pay someone when I can do it myself?